All right, my name is Andreas Grip. I'm going to read you folks three poems. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Uh, this first one is called Slavic. Everyone can hear me okay in the back? The couple behind me at this outdoor cafe speak in a language I strain to distinguish. Perhaps it's Polish or maybe Russian. Their inflections rising and falling like the scales from an innovative pianist. Or it's possibly the Ukrainian I think I recognize after surmising I've heard Vereniki. And I imagine the man is telling the woman that despite the many trials of his day, he is lucky and blessed to have her. That when his boss yelled at him earlier, he thought only of stopping at the florist on the way here to meet her. Hence, the arrangement on their table is his doing, not the proprietor's. That even though all the other tables in this place are crowned with pink and red carnations and the varied shades of phlox, this was merely a case of the waiter having mimicked what he'd seen when the Slavic-speaking pair were the only ones here, before myself and the other patrons arrived, talking to each other in a tongue that kept no one guessing what was said as the late day sun began its daily descent behind the jagged skyline in the distance. Uh, this next one is called A Place Beneath the Water. We drive to the beach the day you're released from the hospital. The pills once afloat in your glass, currently a memory taken by tides. And I suggest a brief, brisk swim in cleansing waves to wash the stress from your battered mind. And you strip down rather hastily, splash about as a child might, as you did when you were a girl. And I lose sight of you in a panic of 30 seconds as you submerge your head and hold your breath for a protracted half a minute, attempting to touch that part of yourself where the air cannot reach nor light tell the world what you've hid. And I'm going to close off with uh, one more poem called In Late Afternoon Shadows. Was that the camera? Oh, the camera. In late afternoon shadows. I picked you out from the crowd, although your slender back was turned. With a gathering throng challenging your spotting more than the pages of a Where's Waldo book. And when you asked how I managed to do this, with my glasses scratched, and autumn's umbra encompassing cliques of hippies and hipsters alike, I said, I recognized you by your ass, particularly taut and rounded by the shifts of shade and radiance within which you'd been standing. During this strangest time of day that dares me to say things I shouldn't, when change is just a one-footed jig beneath a tired, slumping sun that's already given me more than I've ever asked of it. Thank you. Matter, glass fragments bite my legs, beer slicks my wheels, hot breath falls, shudder at the deepest note, a head bowed to cold and unyielding ivory.